I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Alt, your source for open source. I've got tons of requests for this one, so today I'll be comparing a popular proprietary media player from Windows with VLC Media Player, a very common open source alternative. This episode of OS All is brought to you by HostGator. Windows has had a free media player for over 20 years now. The most recent version is Windows Media Player 12, and it supports playback of audio, video, pictures, and navigation, like fast forward, reverse, skip, and basic playlist and media organization. Why I like Windows Media Player. You can sync content with devices such as your MP3 or your cell phone. It really handles music well, and there's a lot of visualizations associated. You can burn discs and rent music. And actually, I love the streaming, all the radio stations that they have available, and it has a really great GUI to it. I used it a lot when I was backpacking across Europe. The features for managing your playlist is vast. You can rate things, you can group them, so basically playing videos and music whenever you're in a certain mood. They have full keyboard-based operation, and it's really easy to navigate using all the keys possible. What I don't like about WMP, it's not really free because it requires Windows, and it hardly ever recognizes the formats I like, such as Flash and MKV. Though you can add codec packs like K-Lite to it, it just doesn't really work organically. There's also security issues with updates, like one recent security problem was it allowed malicious programs to be installed just when you're streaming, and that's just seriously problematic. Not to mention it's a huge resource hog. VLC Media Player is a Windows, Mac, and Linux free and open source program that plays, streams, and transcodes media of all types. This is one of those apps that even people who don't know what FOSS is has heard of it. It's very good at what it does. Why I like VLC. It's lightweight, and again, it's free and open source. It, it supports an insane amount of codecs just right out of the box, and you can transcode and broadcast media. That's just so sweet. What I don't like about VLC is for what it makes up for in codecs and just being able to play everything, it lacks in playlists and organization features. It, you don't really get a chance to group any of your media. I'm sure they'll improve on that. I hope they'll improve on that. And finding files and putting them in playlists, there's no writing and so it's just kind of borked as far as that's concerned. Before my review conclusion, I have some sponsor love for you. I've been with HostGator since my first blog post in 2008. With Linux-based servers and plans starting at under four bucks a month, you get 24-7 support and access to tons of website building tools. HostGator has gone green and is 130% powered by wind energy. Did I mention they will even migrate your current site for free? For OS Alt viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and enter the code NixieOSAlt at checkout. As an alternative to Windows Media Player, I give VLC Media Player five out of five stars. I would give them six if I could. Its only drawback is in media organization, so playlists and such, and there are other alternatives to Windows Media Player out there that can do this without the drawbacks that come with it. There is no reason for me to ever recommend Windows Media Player over VLC. VLC is the clear winner here for me. Always code as if the guy who ends up maintaining your code will be a violent psychopath who knows where you live. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. I'm gonna get a kiss too.